feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So OnePlus is rolling out an amazing update for OnePlus 10 Pro, which brings a new feature from older Oxygen OS. So in this video, we'll talk about what all new additions have been done with this new update for OnePlus 10 Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see we have our OnePlus 10 Pro. Let me show you the software information first by going to about section. Here you can see this is based on Android 13. If you tap on Android version, under Android version, now we have the 5th January 2023 security patch. And talking about version, version is C.26. The update size for OnePlus 10 Pro was 639 MB. But if you see the change logs, change logs are only related to system which says improve system stability. Other than this, they haven't mentioned anything. But there are few changes which OnePlus have done. I'll show you guys in a while. But before moving ahead, if you guys like a content, then make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. That will motivate us in making better content with quality so as i told you guys these are the change logs which oneplus have mentioned but still oneplus have done few changes in the system one of that is the security patch which have been updated to 5th jan 2023 and that they haven't mentioned in the change logs. other than that there are also few more changes which i'll show you guys now but first let's take a look at the benchmark results so here you can see the benchmark results which are almost similar compared to the previous build this was taken on previous build wherein single core had scored 1252 and multi core had scored 3375 and we have almost similar scores with this newer build also wherein single core have scored 1247 and multi core have scored 3299 if you talk about the cpu throttling here i did notice again throttling issues on my oneplus 10 pro on the previous build it was kind of okayish wherein maximum cpu had throttled up to 79 percent but here you can see the maximum cpu have only throttled up to 67 percent so one of the biggest add-on which oneplus have done with this newer build of oxygen os 13 is now they have got the edit option for the applications so let me show you here if you long press on any of the application tapping on this edit button now we have the feature of older oxygen os where you can edit the icon you can change the name of application which wasn't the case on previous build of oxygen os 13 here for the reference i have my oneplus 9 here you can see if i long press on the application which is gallery application the device is still running oxygen os 13 if i long press i only have two options but here if i long press on the apk or the application here you can see now we have an edit icon tapping on edit now you can change the app icon so to change the app icon you just need to install an additional icon pack from play store i'll show you that also and if if you want to change the app name that can also be done here so now let's download any icon pack so we have downloaded this minma icon pack i'll just open it for once i'll go back to the application itself long press tapping on edit icon and there you can see now you can choose custom icons for the application and this will give us an advantage to match the themed icon feature present on oxygen os 13 because by default not every application supports the themed icon features so let me show you if i go here i have selected match wallpaper color if i apply you can see the messaging app doesn't adapt to the themed icon feature so what i can do is i can long press on the apk tap on edit and from here i can choose any color i mean to say the icon for the messaging app and that will kind of match the themed icon and it won't look much weird so you guys let us know are you guys happy with this comeback of edit option for icons and app name on oxygen os 13 and after that oneplus have also fixed the issue of portrait mode in which many users were reporting that using 2x in portrait mode the pictures are blurry so here i have taken few samples in portrait mode using 2x and i don't see any kind of issues after this update in my initial impressions camera is doing really great on oneplus 10 pro after this update and also guys i've seen a lot of users asking us about the dialer stuff so we have a new dialer which is a o dialer i'll leave this dialer video in the description below if you want to get rid of google dialer you can install this dialer entire process is mentioned in the description below and it looks kind of similar to oneplus stock dialer where you get all the options like record mute etc 
This dialer is from ColorOS team and as you all know ColorOS and Oxygen OS are nothing different. And one fix which I noticed and that's layer to the app cloning feature. On previous build I had noticed issues cloning the WhatsApp application but after this build I have tested out I did not see any kind of issues cloning the WhatsApp application. So let me show you an example and on a telegram group many users had complained about this that they are not able to create a clone for WhatsApp application but now you can see there are no issues at all. And another issue which OnePlus have fixed and that was layered to the clear all button which sometimes used to appear on my device and sometimes it doesn't used to appear. This is the screenshot which I had taken previously. And now if I swipe down the notification panel, you can see I do get to see the clear all icon. So this thing have also been taken care by OnePlus. And with this update, I have also noticed fingerprint and face unlock seems to be quite fast now compared to previous build. And guys, this is my observation. If you guys also notice any improvements in the fingerprint unlock and face unlock speed, then do let me know in the comment section below. And one thing which I have been waiting on my OnePlus 10 Pro and that's the auto brightness icon besides the brightness bar. So I don't know why OnePlus have removed this. It's a great option to toggle between auto brightness and manual brightness. How many of you guys think this add-on should be done on Oxygen OS 13? Do let us know in the comment section below. And we haven't done any in-depth review of OnePlus 10 Pro. So this time I'll be coming up with the in-depth review guys. Whatever questions you have related to your OnePlus 10 Pro, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Within four to five days, I'll post an in-depth review so make sure to let me know if you have any kind of questions layered to OnePlus 10 Pro running Oxygen OS 13. So as of now only this much in this video I hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching have a great day. That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. On repeat in your